for the touch of your lips, dear, but much more for the touch of your whips, dear. You can raise welts like nobody else as we dance to the masochism tango. All right, world. Welcome back to Ourgasm. This is the podcast where we talk about decolonizing sexuality and gender. And this is the first episode of our second season. We're officially a podcast now. Yeah, we're a thing. <laughs> we committed our time to do a whole season, and now we've committed to committing our time to do a second season. This is very exciting. Um, yeah. As a commitment phobe, I am very proud of myself. A <laughs> well, little bit of like a rose-colored flag there. It's not quite red, <laughs> but it's definitely not white either. Um, anyway, my name is Lindsay G. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, or hers. Um, I'm also pretty comfortable with they and them. I am more or less a sort of word person. I am primarily a writer and editor and also a publisher. I have worked in multiple aspects of the writing and publishing industries for a at least 10 years now, <laughs> probably much longer than that. Um, I'm the co-founder of Oneshi Press, where I publish creator-owned independent comics uh, created by myself and others. Um, and I am the author of Watching Porn, which is a memoir about my time as a journalist um, in and around the adult entertainment industry. Um, and through all of that, I have become something of a a sidelines expert um, on particularly pornography um, with regards even more particularly to gender and feminism. So that's kind of my whole deal. And uh, now my beautiful co-host, will you please introduce yourself? Well, hello. That was an excellent intro. Uh, I learned so much about you. <laughs> my name is Lenny Peppers. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I am Northern Cheyenne in Crow from Eastern Montana. Uh, my Indian name is Watched Over. I am a writer and artist. I say that I'm a multimedia story worker <laughs> is, is how I describe like all of the things that I do. That's beautiful. I love that as a title. Uh, and then I also am working on my fifth degree. I'm working on a PhD in decolonizing shit, like, I don't want to get too deeply into what it is, but it's a PhD in decolonizing shit. So uh, most of my degrees center around Native American studies. I have a journalism degree, uh, but I, most, I work mostly in Native American resistance and decolonizing around art and media. Damn, that's cool. I don't think so. I like to think I, it's cool. I think just being able to say most of my degrees is like, you're already <laughs> in such rarefied, awesome territory. Um, <laughs> so I, just listening to you introduce yourself made me realize, like, I never introduced myself as like, hi, I'm Lindsay and I am white. Um, because it's like the assumed default in our culture, that if you don't mention your background, you're just white. So I'm just gonna say for for the sake of being transparent for anyone who wants to know. Um, Literally and figuratively transparent. <laughs> yes, that is very true. I am so <laughs> white that you can actually see a lot of my veins through my skin. It's kind of <laughs> gross. Like I'm looking at some right now. Um, I, I guess uh, my heritage is Irish and German and English. So I am just, you know, generally Northern European and I'm about as white as they come. I have a, a Bachelor of Arts in English Literature um, with a focus on creative writing and a minor in philosophy. And then well, I got a certifi certificate certificate in publishing from City College of New York back in the day. And that's it. That's it for me. I want to tell you a little bit about our podcast, again, in case you are coming to it in the second season. Um, so the purpose of our orgasm is to work on decolonizing the concepts of sexuality and gender as they exist in the dominant, mostly American Western culture today. Um, and the way that we're going about doing that is tackling a lot of so far pretty broad concepts um, because the way that we see it, 
I, I think I speak for both of us, is like pretty much everything about our culture is the result of colonization. And it's all very intimately tied to gender and sexuality and the expressions thereof. Um, so we're kind of looking at historical looks at things, um, indigenous ways of looking at things, and more of the, you know, the dominant culture's way of teaching us how to be as people and looking at how patriarchy and colonization have really influenced how we got here. Um, so really the idea is the more you talk about this stuff, the more you get to know about this stuff, the more you can examine your own attitudes and the things that you have been taught and come to believe. So we just kind of talk about all of this stuff. Um, today's podcast is going to focus on polyamory as a viable relationship model. Um, so in order to talk about that, we're probably going to talk about a whole lot of other things. So if you are not polyamorous or that's not really your thing, please keep listening because we're probably going to talk about some things that definitely apply to you. So let's let's talk about like what polyamory is first. Okay. I think that polyamory, the word polyamory, I have I have seen in recent years getting thrown around by a lot of different groups of people who are sometimes defining it differently, sometimes just trying to practice it differently. So it's it's a term that I think in practice right now is a little malleable. Um, but my understanding of what poly-